hello hello and welcome to my channel my name is Kat I am the nurse flipper and today I am going to go over one of my most favorite things to find and resell for a profit and that is brooches and these brooches today are no ordinary brooches they're gonna start close to three thousand and go all the way up over ten thousand dollars for one brooch so these are top top dollar but but don't think they are not out there they are out there they are that expensive because they're rare so chances of finding them are slim but you really never know so let's go ahead and get started Alright, so the first name on this list is one that is very, very well known. I actually found a few of these brooches. Not this exact one, but this name. And that is Shriner New York. So definitely a name you need to know. This one was an auction. It got a lot of bids and sold for close to $3,000. This is a signed Shriner New York swirl pink glass brooch this one was an auction got 26 bids and sold for twenty eight hundred and forty nine dollars here you can see it up close and i'm not sure if this is actually micro mosaic it definitely appears to be or has the look of it and you can see that beautiful pink swirl glass here is the brooch up a little bit closer again definitely if not actual micro mosaic it is micro mosaic look here on the back of the brooch i do want you to see this one is clearly marked there on the back and i'll zoom in a little bit closer so you can see it does clearly say shriner new york this one was an auction with 26 bids and sold for 2849 dollars up next is not name brand this is not a name brand it simply was marked made in france and this is another one that sold for almost three thousand dollars this is a vintage french mason grippois which simply means glass dog tooth pearl red glass france brooch or pen they did accept a best offer on $2,995. Here you can see it up close. I don't know that I would personally want this, but it does look like dog teeth there. I, I do not think it is real dog teeth. And then here on the back, I wanted to show you, it does clearly say France, but there is no name brand or designer attached to this. And that was a great sale at almost $3,000. All right, up next is a name that I think most of us are familiar with, and that is a Chanel. This is an estate vintage Chanel 80s Maison Grippoy glass Maltese cross pendant or brooch. This one did have the original box. They accepted a best offer on $3,250. Here you can see this brooch up close. This one is not overly impressive to me, but that Chanel name will make stuff go for top dollar. And here on the back, you can clearly see it does say Chanel and it also says made in France. And that was a great sale coming in at over $3,000. All right, sometimes when I do these videos, I see stuff that I feel like it should have sold for more. And this next one is one that I really think the seller undersold it. It is actually three Juliana sets and they sold for over 3000, but I think the seller had they separated them out, they could have got a lot more. This is Juliana vintage costume jewelry. That is all they put in the title. So if you are selling stuff, you wanna make sure you put necklace, brooch, earrings, set, things like that in the title. Again, I think the seller way undersold this. So this is actually three sets and I'm going to show you them here in a moment. This 
three sets sold for $3,440. So here you can see that one that was the first picture up close. Beautiful turquoise blue and multicolor cabochons. It also included this beautiful pink necklace brooch and earring set and as well as another set here with green brooch and earrings so three sets three thousand four hundred and forty dollars i think that seller could have done a lot better but if they bought it cheap that is okay somebody probably had quite a bit of room on this sale at three thousand four hundred and forty dollars up next is a Christian Dior. I actually got lucky and found a Christian Dior crab brooch in a jewelry lot that I only paid $2 for. So like I said, they might be a little bit harder to find, but they are definitely out there. This next one's not a crab though. Let me show you this Christian Dior. This is a Christian Dior 1968 fuchsia and green leaf cluster motif cabochon gem brooch this one was an auction got 75 bids and sold for three thousand eight hundred and sixty dollars here you can see this brooch up close beautiful beautiful fuchsia pink along with green and i do want to show you here on the back it is clearly marked christian dior germany and that was a great sale 75 bids and almost four thousand dollars all right up next is actually a dog brooch a labrador retriever that sold for almost four thousand dollars this is an authentic barry kiesel sign cord 18 karat gold diamond labrador dog brooch this one sold for three thousand nine hundred and ninety five dollars here you can see it up close with the cord around the Labrador's head and he has a beautiful collar and there are rhinestones. Actually, those are diamonds. They're diamonds. That is one of the reasons this sold for almost $4,000. Now, here on the back, you can see it does clearly say Kieselstein and it also says 18 karat. And this was a great sale at almost $4,000. So keep your eye out. Sometimes these precious metals can make their way into some estate jewelry lots. So you definitely want to be looking at pieces closely. Up next is another 18 karat gold brooch. So there is quite a few precious metals in this one. I just wanted to show you guys in this economy, these high dollar things are still selling the economy does not affect everyone like it does most so this next one also sold for almost four thousand dollars this is an andre rambour art nouveau pendant or brooch 18 karat gold with pearls enamel and diamonds this one sold for a best offer on three thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars here you can see this brooch up close it is in immaculate condition the enamel shows nowhere and here on the back i wanted to show you there are quite a few markings here on the back so this one was identified as 18 karat it also says rambore on it so it would be easy to identify if you found this but you have to remember that's on a tiny little pin they do have it magnified so definitely look at stuff with the jewelers loop and this was a great sale at almost four thousand dollars all right up next is a type of brooch that a lot of them bring a lot of money and that is a jelly belly and what that means simply is there is a clear cabochon stone in the middle and that is your jelly belly this one is not a precious metal it is a trafari that sold for over four thousand dollars this is a trafari jelly belly red black bird with rhinestones it was four and a quarter inches so pretty big brooch here 
This one was an auction, got 42 bids and sold for $4,050. Here you can see that bird up close, really, really big glass jelly belly on this one. And here is the back and I do believe the Trafari is written on the beak of that bird. And that was a great sale bringing 42 bids and selling for $4,050. All right, the last brooch video I did, there were a ton of these Shriner Starburst type brooches. This time I didn't see a ton. I think I only saw two of them. This one is really beautiful. It is pink and purple and it sold for over 4,000. And this is another one that is not a precious metal. This is a Shriner Deep Purple Cabochon Ruffled Keystone Cluster Motif Brooch. It was an auction, got 46 bids, and sold for $4,464. Here you can see that brooch up close. Beautiful, beautiful pinks and purples and in immaculate condition. And here on the back, I want to show you, I do not believe this one was a marked piece. I believe this was an unsigned Shriner, and it still brought 46 bids and sold for $44.64. Up next is a 14 karat micro mosaic. Absolutely beautiful piece with a butterfly. It also has a dangle. It is not marked 14 karat, so definitely be aware of that and maybe have an acid testing kit so you can test some of this stuff if you find it. This one was a great sale. This is a 14 karat yellow gold Victorian micro mosaic butterfly brooch early to mid 1800s. This one, they accepted a best offer on $4,500. Here you can see that brooch up close. Beautiful butterfly, both on the top as well as the bottom. And then here I wanted to show you it just tilted a little bit. Pay close attention with micro mosaics how small the pieces of glass are. Typically, the smaller the pieces of glass, the older the pieces. And I did want to show you here on the back this one does not appear to be marked anywhere so i'm going to assume the seller did an acid test and found this to be 14 karat and that was a great sale at almost 4500 dollars up next is another animal brooch this is a cute little baby ram this one is another precious metal this one is van cleef and arpels this is a vintage 1964 Van Cleef and Arpels Sapphire and Diamond Ram Brooch 18 karat with the box. This one sold for $4,500. Here you can see that brooch up close sitting on the original box. Really, really cute little ram there. And on the back here, I wanted to show you, it does clearly say Van Cleef and Arpels. It also says 750, which is the symbol for 18 karat gold. And this was a great sale at $4,500. Up next is another Trafari, another non-precious metal. This one I hadn't seen and the setting on this is absolutely gorgeous. And it, the price it brought shows that it is a very rare piece. This is a 1930s book piece, Trafari Green. This is what they call an invisible set. So you can see the stones, but you do not see the settings sticking out. This is a leaf brooch. This one they accepted a best offer on $4,800. Here you can see that brooch up close. Really, really cool where you cannot see the settings on these. And I did want to show you the seller did include a picture of this leaf brooch in the book to prove that it is an actual book piece. And that was a great sale coming in close to $5,000. All right, we have got another Shriner New York piece. So these high dollar brooches are mixed between costume and fine jewelry. So 
be very, very careful. Check the brooches. If you're going to estate sales, look at them. Some of these I would be willing to pay over a thousand for and you still could make a very, very good profit if you're a reseller or as a collector, you could get a really good deal. This is a vintage Shriner New York high domed large faceted pink center brooch pendant. They accepted a best offer on $4,999. And here you can see that brooch up close. Absolutely beautiful stones in great condition. And I wanted to show you in their hand because it looked like it was red on that back black background. But here in their hand, you can see it is a very, very pretty dark pink. And here on the back, you can see this is actually another unmarked Shriner. This one is not marked. It does have the bail to be a pendant and a great sale at almost $5,000. Up next is a beautiful fire opal brooch. If you do not know, opals are worth quite a bit of money, even small ones, but this one was a big black fire opal. This is a vintage black fire opal brooch encased in 10 karat gold plus eight saltwater pearls. They accepted a best offer on $5,000 here you can see it up close. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful fire opal as well as those saltwater pearls. And here on the back, I wanted to show you this one was not marked. So this is another one you would need to test it to know that it was 10 karat. And that was a great sale at almost $5,000. All right, we're getting higher. So you are going to see a lot more precious metals, gold, silver, as well as platinum. This next one sold for $7,000 for a single brooch. This is an antique Art Deco Raymond Yard brooch, gold, platinum. It is three carats of diamonds and two carats of emeralds. This piece is beautiful. It is, this is impressive. This one sold for $7,000. I wanted to show you here up close. It is in its original display box. And on the back, this one is not marked to indicate it is gold or platinum, but it does say yard, identifying it as a Raymond Yard piece. And that was a great sale at $7,000. All right, we've got some more gold coming up and another animal brooch. So animals definitely can bring big money, especially when you attach a name like Cartier to them. This is a Cartier Panther pen, 18 karat gold and black enamel. This one they accepted a best offer on $7,035. Here you can see that Panther up close really really well done work on that and I did want to show you on the back here this one is clearly marked underneath the pen it says Cartier 750 so again that 18 karat 750 stamp as well as some patent numbers and that was a great sale at almost seven thousand dollars all right if you think that only precious metals are up in these top ones, you would be wrong. This next one is a Trafari by Alfred Felipe. This is a rare, massive Alfred Felipe for Trafari bird rhinestone water lily pad brooch. Really, really great detail and work on this one. This one was an auction, got eight bids and sold for $7,900. I did want to show you this up close. There is great detail on this brooch, the multiple water lily pads, as well as the bird and a very, very large faceted rhinestone there in the center. And on the back here, I wanted to show you, this one does not say Trafari. It only says the patent number. And then on the top, it says 59. 
So I do not see anywhere on this brooch that was marked Trafari and it still got eight bids and sold for almost $8,000. All right, up next is another costume piece coming in close to $8,000. This one is another name we know and that is Marcel Boucher. This is a rare 1940s Marcel Boucher Eve's Folly. It is a serpent and apples metallic enamel brooch. They accepted a best offer on $7,995. Here you can see this brooch up close with the snake eating the apple and the snake is wrapped around the vine. And on the back I wanted to show you some of Boucher's pieces are marked Boucher and others are marked MB, which is what you see here. So watch out for MB as well as Boucher. And that was a great sale at almost $8,000. Up next is another platinum brooch. If you do not know, platinum is worth more than gold. And platinum is typically marked on jewelry pieces with either just PT for platinum or PT925, just like sterling, that is parts of platinum per thousand. There's also PT950. So definitely keep an eye out for platinum pieces because they are very, very valuable. And this one is a really, really nice one. This is a magical early 1900s Le Cloche Paris, France, natural diamond and platinum brooch. This one sold for $8,000. Here you can see it up close. Lots and lots of diamonds on this one. And on the back, I did want to show you, this one is not marked to indicate it is platinum, but it does say La Cloche Paris. Again, these are really thin on the outer edge or the pen, so you really need to pay close attention to your jewelry. And this was a great sale at $8 thousand dollars up next is a tiffany piece and it is tiffany 18 karat gold so tiffany sterling pieces can be worth thousands and thousands of dollars as well watch out for tiffany and co this one brought a lot this is a vintage tiffany and co schlumberger 18 karat diamond maltese cross pendant or brooch sold for eight thousand two hundred and fifty dollars here you can see it up close this one another one these are in amazing amazing condition however i want to say even not in perfect condition these pieces would still sell for thousands of dollars now here on the back of this one you can see it is clearly marked Tiffany & Co. Slumburger, as well as $750, indicating 18 karat gold. And that was a great sale at over $8,000. All right, up next is white gold, and this is a Givenchy piece, and it is a cameo. This one is pretty stunning. This is a James Taffin de Givenchy white gold and diamond brooch this one sold for canadian thirteen thousand, which equals out to nine thousand six hundred and thirty two dollars in u.s dollars this one here you can see it up close beautiful beautiful carved cameo on black it is surrounded by diamonds and again this one is white gold i did want to show you here on the back this one is marked taffin very very small on the end of that pen and this was a great sale again around ninety six hundred dollars us all right we are up to our top three there are two gold and one platinum and all of these sold for over ten thousand dollars for one brooch so let me show you them now this is a vintage Verdura 18 karat gold diamond lapis lazuli Maltese cross or brooch and pendant. This one sold for $13,500. Here you can see it up close. 
beautiful pieces of lapis lazuli. If you do not know, lapis is when it is just plain blue and lapis lazuli is when it includes those gold flecks in the blue stone. And here on the back, you can see this one is clearly marked with that 750 as well as a V for Verdura. And that was a great sale at $13,500. This next one is a cute little ladybug that, that sold for over 10000 and it is a Cartier. This is a Cartier 1940 Paris rare ladybug pen. This is 18 karat gold with carved coral and diamonds. They accepted a best offer on $14,955. So if you saw this little ladybug, I don't know that it would jump out to you as being worth almost 14000 Now here you can see this one is in the original Cartier box. It is not a very big brooch to be selling for almost 15000 Here you can see it zoomed in a little bit closer. Again, there are diamonds inset in a coral piece. And that was a great sale at almost $15,000. All right. The highest one, worth more than a lot of our cars, is a Tiffany Platinum piece that sold for over $20,000. This is a rare Tiffany & Co. Art Deco 1930 brooch or earring. So I'm going to show you exactly how this works. It is pretty darn cool. This one they accepted a best offer on $24,000. So here you can see this put together. Beautiful, beautiful piece. This one is platinum. It is platinum and diamonds. And I wanted to show you, they do still have the original box that says Tiffany & Co. Regent Street. These were bought in London. Now in this box here, you can see that these sides actually come off and can be clip-on earrings so they are dual purpose which is pretty cool or you can inset them on the pen there in the middle and they become a brooch so they can be worn as either earrings or together as a brooch and here on the back i did want to show you very very clearly marked platinum as well as tiffany and co on all three pieces, the brooch piece, as well as the two earrings that inset to make it a brooch. And that was a great sale at over $20,000. All right, that is everything. I hope you have enjoyed this. I hope you had a great weekend and we'll have a great week upcoming. I will be live on Whatnot selling some jewelry this evening. And I start all my jewelry at a $2 start. If you don't know what Whatnot is, it is a live auction app. We sell primarily jewelry on there and we start everything at $2. So we will be live this evening at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard as well as Monday night at 8.30 as well. So definitely come and see us. If you use my link down below, you will get $15 free when you sign up. You don't have to use it with me. You can use it with whomever you choose. I really appreciate you watching. I appreciate your support. Please share this out with your friends and family if you think they would enjoy it. And I will see you on the next one.